Justice has been delivered. The words of President Biden tonight as he announced the U.S. drone strike that killed Osama bin Laden's former right-hand man, a key architect of the 9-11 attacks, Ayman al-Zawahiri, took over al-Qaeda following bin Laden's death. And tonight, our Sarah Donchi spoke with a former FBI agent who spent years chasing him. It's a major blow to one of the most infamous terrorist organizations in the world. Osama bin Laden's right-hand man, now dead, killed by a drone strike in Afghanistan. He carved a trail of murder and violence against American citizens. Ayman al-Zawahiri was one of the masterminds behind the September 11th attacks and took over al-Qaeda after bin Laden was killed by American forces in 2011. We are here, the real Islamic front. This is, runs very near and dear to me and all the hard work that went into trying to track this guy down. Zwahiri was one of the FBI's most wanted terrorists, and former assistant special agent in charge Jeffrey Harp was one of the people tasked with trying to bring him to justice. This guy was involved in the Tanzania and Kenya attacks, which I was involved in. This guy was involved in the, the USS Cole, which I flew over to the USS Cole hours after it happened. This guy was involved in 9-11. I was sitting at FBI headquarters um, at, on, on September 11, 2001. Now retired, Harp says investigations like the one that resulted in Saturday's deadly drone strike in Kabul can take years of intelligence gathering and planning. I can just think back to the investigations that I was involved in, and some of that information is still super highly classified because of the investigative techniques that were used to identify what we were looking at. And I remember seeing his name. I looked at his name on this information going, we've got to get this guy because he is behind it all. But analysts say the threat may not end with al-Zwahiri's death. When the Taliban took over Afghanistan last year after U.S. troops withdrew, they agreed not to let the country become a safe haven for terrorists. This shows that that relationship remains tight, and it shows that we need to continue to focus on, on Afghanistan going forward from a counterterrorism perspective. The White House says Taliban leadership was well aware of the fact that this man was hiding out in Kabul at the time he was killed. The Biden administration says they're going to keep an eye out for threats from al-Qaeda moving forward. I'm Sarah Donchi, KPIX 5.